Having returned from my trip to Disney, I've come up with the 10 terrific theme park attraction project in the works, especially after the two Universal coasters I've had never been on. And with good reason, Velocicoaster and Hagrid's Murbike Adventure, each at Islands of Adventure, Universal Orlando. Yet some of these projects are not set in stone, so keep your arms, hands, feet, legs, eyes, and ears inside the ride medium at all times, as we are to discuss the 10 Universal and Disney theme park projects currently in the works, some which remains rumored. Number 1. Charizard Coaster, working title Epic Universe. At the upcoming Epic Universe theme park, the future third park at Universal after Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios before it, one of its future lands coming with it, Pokemon World, is to include a Charizard themed coaster as one of the land's big attractions. While Epic Universe is not to open until summer, spring 2024, rumors speculate all coasters will somehow be similar to the intense Velocicoaster. Over at Islands of Adventure in the Jurassic Park area where Skull Island Reign of Kong dominates the other sick attraction that has yet been confirmed first, in that area shall be an omni Dock ride in which you can encounter various species of Pokemon. It's to be similar to the Buzz Lightyear ride at Magic Kingdom at Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and other global Disney parks. Number 2. Revenge of the Mummy 4K4D at Universal Studios. As Revenge of the Mummy has been cursed by Universal Shutdown for updates, there's recent confirmation they'll revamp and retheme it in 4K4D and as the 2017 hit horror movie The Mummy, as I'll include advanced ride tech similar to Escape from Green Gods in the Diagon Alley area. Although they'll have to reimagine the ride, possibly from alternative scratch, it doesn't mean they are demolishing the old ride building and replacing it with a more modern building. This highly anticipated new version of Revenge of the Mummy shall mummify you more psychologically and physically than Revenge of the Mummy in its original form has since it first opened in 2004. Number 3. Shrek 4D It's also rumored that Shrek 4D might be revamped and relocated to the future Epic Universe theme park while being added to one of the lands there, DreamWorks Universe. Close for good at Universal Studios last January, the possibly modified version of Shrek 4D could tie in with the DreamWorks Universe area of Epic Universe next to the other IP attraction-based films per franchise by DreamWorks Animation, including Trolls, Madagascar, and Dragons. Since the incident at the 2022 Oscars between Chris Rock and Will Smith, fans of the famed actor see his rep almost in ruin, strongly suggest that Men in Black Alien Attack should be replaced by an attraction based on the hit 2022 film Moonfall. It's possible that this film-based ride is to take us beyond the Earth's atmosphere into space to stop our moon from destroying us all in accordance with the narrative of the attraction. Despite being distributed by Paramount Pictures on the big screen last February, the Titalia film should and shall make us feel like we are literally in the middle of all the action, where it's to be riding a self-driving car through the destruction wrought by the moon's collision course from in space or personally join the heroes of the film, Halle Berry and Patrick Wilson, possibly reprising their roles for this attraction in saving and stopping the moon from decimating all life on Earth in a fully armed space vehicle we shall not pass up this full moon in theme park history, as the ride might be similar to Rise of the Rebellion at Disney Studios at Walt Disney World. Number 5. The Princess and the Frog Magic Kingdom Like the Jungle Cruise recently, Magic Kingdom's decades-old but infamous dark ride Splash Mountain, based on the animated Disney classic film Song of the South, at Disneyland and Walt Disney World, is getting a major theme by being replaced by a drops-free dark ride based on the 2009 hit animated film from Disney, Princess and the Frog. It was going to open next year, but Disney had recently confirmed they have delayed the project's deadline to 2024. The year Epic Universe as well as Universal Studios' Nintendo World are each to open in. The narrative of the ride sets it after the events of the film and Tiana and the gang try to debut their first performance at the annual Mardi Gras event. Rumors have it that you might encounter the dead Dr. Facilier at some point in the ride. What the frog? Number 6. Avengers Campus aka Avengers Avenue 
the Disney Studios. While Avengers Avenue, aka Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure, is to debut next month, its second phase attraction based on Earth Maya's Heroes of the Titalia film franchise's same name, and is to be more advanced as Rise of the Rebellion at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland as well. It's debuting at Disneyland Paris' Disney Studios as of 2023. Furthermore, as of 2025, which is the next year I'm going to Disney and Universal, Avengers Campus will debut at the Disney Studios of Walt Disney World, replacing the Muppets-themed area soon. It will have most of the attractions that Anaheim and Paris' versions are to have, including the Spider-Man Adventure Attraction. Number 7. Cat in the Hat Retheme or Middle Earth Islands of Adventure in regards to the minor tech-based defects of the Cat in a Hat ride at Islands of Adventure's Seuss World, be sure for this reason only, improve and retheme the attraction for the hit Titalia family movie with Mike Myers. It might involve him reprising his famed Titalia role from the film. If not, they are to replace the land as a whole with one based on Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, despite their affiliation singularly with War Brothers and New Line Cinemas. It would be fairer for everyone of all ages to eat, breathe, and feel the world of Middle-earth around them, from the Shire to Mirkwood Forest to Mordor. Number 8. Blumhouse Boulevard Island of Adventure Because Toon Lagoon is a bleak and highly overrated land at the park compared to the others, Universal is soon replace it with a land theme for mainly their Blumhouse pictures, films, and beyond. This is to include The Purge, Fire Girl, aka Firestarter, us and Happy Death Day. The area is to enable us to experience Halloween Horror Nights year-round rather than once a year. Over at Universal Studios in Florida, October is to make it more thrilling than early usual as well, and it shall. Number 9. It. <laughs> With Shrek 4D gone from Universal Studios, and despite the rumors it's to be replaced by Minions Attraction, It is to replace Shrek, not those silly Minions who are also iconic. According to various sources, including Theme Park Stop on YouTube recently, It, the attraction, will put you in the dark part of It Parts 1 through 2, in which you'll take on Pennywise while moving on a moving platform as opposed to being in a ride vehicle. Whether or not you're aiding the adolescent adult versions each of the Losers Club, compared to the films, however, It is to be an all-ages attraction where you'll face your fears, with limited scares and numerous encounters with Pennywise. Number 10. I Am Legend, Universal Studios. The 2007 hit sci-fi horror thriller has been heart-stopping so much that I, along with most people, request a theme park adaptation of the Titalia movie, encountering vampiric monsters known as Dark Seekers and enduring a global plague man-made via an original cure to cancer that has gone horribly awry. As long as it's not a high-intense coaster and does not replace Fast and Furious Supercharged, I Am Legend, whether or not reprising Will Smith as Dr. Robert Neville, the film's main protagonist, might not make any of you the last people on Earth. Thanks for tuning in to be informed more of my videos in general. Subscribe to me by ringing the bell to get notifications. I've seen its share of miracle cures, from the polio vaccine to heart transplants, but all past achievements made pale in comparison to the work of Dr. Alice Crippen. Thank you so much for joining us. Dr. Crippen, give it to me in a nutshell. Well, the premise is quite simple. Um, take something designed by nature and reprogram it to make it work for the body rather than against it. You're talking about a virus? Indeed, yeah. A um, virus which has been engineered at a genetic level to be helpful rather than harmful. I find the best way to describe it is if you can, if you can imagine your body as a highway and you picture the virus as a very fast car um, being driven by a very bad man, imagine the damage that that car could cause. Mm. But then if you replace that man with a cop, the picture changes and that's essentially what we've done. And how many are cancer free? 10,009. So you have actually cured cancer? Yes, yes. Yeah.